and welcome to the second Christmas dinner organized by World Congress of Overseas Pakistanis. Your Excellency Sayyid Yusuf Zaghani, former Prime Minister of Pakistan, Mr. Sirat Kareem MAP, members of the Board of, Board of Governors, and our hosts from Church of St. Hansen. And our honorable guests, you're most welcome to this auspicious evening. I have the pleasure of uh, calling Dr. Isra Hussain, Minister of Kuchal, to speak on behalf of the High Commissioner of Pakistan. I've been speaking quite a lot. And uh, once again, to say my prayers in the mosque. But I was wondering that whether I would get a chance to speak in a mosque as well. So what happened, uh, we were celebrating the Kashmir Solidarity Day. And we had a plan that there would be prayers for the liberation of the Kashmiri brethren who were suffering under the hands of uh, time. And there I got a chance to speak. And a very similar feeling I'm giving today when I'm standing in a church and getting a chance to say a few words on Christmas to a very august audience which is sitting here. I must congratulate the WCOP and its membership for hosting this event and providing an opportunity to celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ, one of the revered prophets of Islam, and of course Christianity, and I call him a binding force between Islam and Christianity. Uh, one of our great poets, Balin, uh, said, Ibn Maryam hua kare koi, Ibn Maryam hua kare koi, Mere dukhi dawa kare. To translate that for those who don't understand what you don't listen to me the miracles of Christ unless someone cures my suffering. The word Messiah has come proverbial and synonymous in our literature, both in Urdu and in Persian. And Walana is just referred to Surah Ibrahim and Surah Ali Quran, in which there is the like the picturesque explanation of the birth of the Jesus Christ. 25th December is very important for us because of two things. One, the birth of Jesus Christ, and second, our Father of Nation. Because of which I'm proud in standing here to say that we are Pakistanis and we are celebrating Christmas with our brother here in London in a church sitting before the diocese and this members. Now I won't uh, be taking a lot of your time, but there is a, a very catchy phrase which has taken my attention from the WPOP, your cardinal features, I would say. That is the value of diversity, integration, and togetherness in a multicultural agreement. I'll just give the view, a very short view of Islam. The objective of Islam is to bring about divine revolution to initiate and invite people to worship Allah, to strive for a society in which spiritual, ethical, and human values are cherished. It advocates an atmosphere where peace, tolerance, love, and well-wishing is the order of the day, and an atmosphere where controversies are resolved without the use of violence. This is the desired word of Islam, and such a word can be established only through peaceful dialogue. The truth is that this religion, Islam, is based on monotheism with regard to God and on peaceful dialogue 
with regard to methodology. This is the essence of Islamic teachings. No other way is possible in Islam. We don't have any space for extremism, for fundamentalism, or obscurantism. And those who happen to be extremists are in fact unaware of the real spirit of Islam. The fact is that every religion, be it Islam or any other, aims at teaching people love and brotherhood. It eradicates hatred among people <coughs> by bringing them together. In the contemporary world, the principle of peaceful coexistence can play an important role in avoiding the conflict in the world which has become more lethal with the advancement of technology. Ladies and gentlemen, you are standing to say goodbye. <laughs> in the words of uh, Charles Dickens, I would say Merry Christmas and thank you very much. <laughs>